Hello guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to solder a VTX to a Whoop style controller, flight controller. I will show you the pads that we're going to be using and I'm going to show you the diagram um, on, on a whiteboard. So quickly, each camera comes pretty much standard with three wires out. One is ground, one is uh, plus five, and a video, which is usually typically red, black, and yellow. Um, the pads on the flight controller that we will be focusing on are right here in this specific uh, flight controller. For your flight controller, you have to reference the manual. You will see um, the kind of standard out. So you have your five volt, you have the ground, you have an I, O, and T1. So the I is usually the in and O is out signal. This is coming from your camera. I will share the diagram and we will go over that in more details. Your plus five, five and ground is standard just to power either the camera or VTX. So let's look at the VTX that I will be using. This is a TBS Nano uh, Pro 32. This is a tiny VTX. Uh, it outputs 400 milliwatt max. Um, the manual on this VTX is on their website. I pre-sorted the pads already um, with pre-sorted the wires already with uh, just kind of uh, colors I had. Um, I, I typically just use red and black for the plus five and ground and I had another ground and just didn't have uh, any more red and then I have the yellow for the video signal so um, let's look at the diagram really quick so you guys kind of have an idea of what it looks like alright so this is the diagram I put together quickly again here you got your camera okay so you got your video signal you got your ground signal and you got your plus five in our instance the TBS 9 VTX has a five volt out and ground so what I will be doing is I will be running the power to the camera from the VTX as you can see here this red wire going to the camera and the black wires going to the camera right here so that's pretty standard um, output to power the camera so what what interesting is the camera is actually not going to the VTX video signal it's actually going to the board as you can see this kind of orangish wire to the iPad this is as an input so what's happening here video goes into the board then goes out of the board in the O pad and goes into the video in for the VTX so as you can see right here we go in this way the video goes in then video comes out and the reason we're doing that because we need the OSD right the the, the, the amperage the, the, the fly time all this um, on-screen display information comes from the actual flight controller so basically you think about it as a, as a layer of video on top um, another layer of OSD that detail information and it go, uh, gets output to the VTX and then transmitted to to your goggles that that and you're able to see it pretty much so that's pretty straightforward and then you got your T1 which is the smart audio signal as you can see right here a gray um, color wire pretty straightforward again um, goes out and that, that lets you control with your uh, transmitter um, the, the settings for the specific VTX uh, pretty straightforward so just kind of uh, take a screenshot or what or just pause this video and I'll give you an idea of how to connect that alright so as you saw the diagram again now it will make more sense this is the VTX that I shared on the di diagram these are the wires that we'll be using and the connector so as you can see right here I pre-made this connector I will be using it to uh, to power the camera and get the signal out which is going to be my yellow wire that's coming out of here and I will be putting that through the um, flight controller and then out of the flight controller into the VTX pretty straightforward 
So just uh, make sure you uh, kind of solder everything properly because it's very uh, easy to make an error or a connection and just make sure the wires are not touching anything but the pad that we're supposed to touch. Okay guys, so I soldered the wires just like in diagram and just kind of want to show you the final result. Um, I got the wires facing this direction and uh, here's my VTX and here's the camera connector. Alright, hopefully this helps.